Hello. <laughs> are you talking to people on the phone? No, no, I was taking a little clip of it. I oh, a little yeah. clip of us. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. She's taking photos. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Cheryl Arkell. And Jane Tara. What yeah. are you reading? Um, now, this is a super special uh, What Are You Reading segment mm. because we're announcing and launching the Top 50 Kids, drum roll. Drum roll. Mm. And we have a very, very special guest for everybody who's going to be streamed live mm. from Perth, mm. so that might be a clue. Mm. Shall we start talking about the Top 100, we can. the did Top you, 50? Did you want to mention your eye first? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. And we might write this in the comment section. So sorry about my eye. Um, I'm actually okay for all of those mm. that are worried. I wear contact lenses. I have been wearing contact lenses since I was 21 and nothing has ever gone wrong until yesterday as I was taking my contact lens out, I actually pinched the white of my eye. Mm. Um, mm. But for those that are worried, don't be worried, not hurting, okay, doctor says it will disappear. Mm. I'm sorry that it looks that way, but I thought it was better than wearing an eye patch. Yeah. Don't you think? Like a pirate. <laughs> like a pirate. Okay, we're going to put up some graphics for mm. top 50 kids. Okay. Uh, here we go. So today is the top 50 uh, kids books revealed by Jane and I. Hi, everybody. What are you reading? We're going to be talking about top 50 kids. Drum roll. We're going to, shall we go number two? We'll go from, num go number, from number 10. Go from number 10. Yeah, yeah, we'll go from number 10. Mm. Uh, and that's the 13-story tea house. Treehouse, 13 story treehouse yes. by the wonderful Terry Denton. So that's number 10. Um, number nine is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. Good to see classic there. Mm. Um, number eight is The Alice and Lester. Are we there yet? I mean, oh my goodness, that's been around for a long time. Such a popular book. Such a mm. popular book. I think we've got some graphics for these as well. Um, Into the Wild by Arne Doe. Um, that's at number seven. Mm. I don't know if we've got that here, but that's going to go up on the screen. Um, BFG by Roald Dahl. Another right. classic. My Another boys classic. Loved that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is counting mm. down. Um, here they are. Uh, BFG by Roald Dahl. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Mm. The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson. Number three, of course, is Harry Potter. Number two is Where is the Green Sheep? And drum roll, number one is Craig Sylvie Runt. Yes. Now, before we before we stream Pat Craig in, I just want to say, so this is the top 50 kids and this mm. is coming in at number one. You will remember that the top 100 adult books, number one, Honeybee. First time ever. This is a record. Yeah. This is a record. Okay, Craig, congratulations. Be Oh my goodness. Hello. 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 I can get used to this. Um, how extraordinary. Thank you so much. I'm a, a bit speechless, to be honest with you. I, I feel very blessed, uh, very grateful and sincerely to, to the community of readers of, of, at Better Reading. Um, I can't thank you enough for your support. It's extraordinary. Um, not just for Honeybee, but, but for Runt to... Um, uh to have such an impact with readers so quickly in its life um is enormously gratifying and it's just an extraordinary thing it's 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 so lovely and to be in uh such exalted company mem fox Alison lester julia donaldson roald dahl my goodness um it's it's so extraordinary and i thank you both uh for for all of your support it's amazing do you have a big w I do have a big W near me, yes. You need to go in and go in and go in. Go shell. I'm thinking about taking maybe a cardboard cutout poster, maybe uh, just laying it up near the book section. Uh, maybe a trestle table, you know, I can I can just move some units there. Yeah. No I think that's a great idea. Yeah. You yeah. should do that. I'm yeah. going to do this to your poster about that. About that. I see you're in the park. I see you're in the park. I'm going, to talk to I'm going to talk to her. Listen, um, Listen um, congratulations. congratulations. I'm so happy I'm so for you. Happy. It didn't happen to a better person, yeah. honestly. I'm going to say to all our people at home, if you'd like to ask Craig some questions, please do. The technology is not great, so Craig's going to just jump on and answer them via comments later on. Is that okay? okay. Sure, that's great. Got, yeah, we've got yeah, a bit of we've a got a bit of.
Um, but congratulations, Craig yeah. Selby. I mean, as I said, it couldn't happen to a better person. Number one, top 50 kids, runt. Number one, Number one top 100, 100. I mean, honestly. I, mean, honestly, I don't think that, I don't, this, that this will happen again in our lifetime. It's it's a big yeah, it's big to have you on both lists and well deserved. And it's the year of Craig Sylvie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's very, very kind of you. I, I just let me reiterate uh, just how grateful I am to to the Better Reading team, but also your amazing community of readers. It's really extraordinary, and people are so supportive. The messages I get, uh, the posts people put up, um, it really warms my heart. And uh, the way people have. Uh, really got behind this book. Readers of all ages uh, is just the most amazing thing. I, I, I'm just chuffed. I really am overwhelmed. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. It, it is, is readers of all ages. So mm. many of um, our readers on the old, old adult page have talked about runt as well. Yeah. You know, so it's not just kids reading it. It's a book that's crossed over. You can read it from seven right up to seventy-seven or eighty-seven. Mm. <laughs> you know, you know, it's wonderful. You, you have, you have an authentic voice, and you write from the heart, and I think people really respond to that sort of the writing from the heart. You know, of, of all ages. So yeah. We're looking forward to seeing what you do next, Craig. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a lovely thing to say. Thank you. Um, I, look, before I go, I can reveal uh, Screen Australia did announce this week uh, that Runt will be uh, turned into a major motion picture. Um, oh, okay. We have an amazing director. His name is John Sheedy. He made Hatches for Happiness. Uh, we have an incredible distributor. Their name is Studio Canal. They did the Paddington films. Uh, oh, and our producer is Jamie Hilton, who uh, made Breath, a Tim Winton adaptation. Wow. So we're in wonderful company. Uh, we'll be filming imminently. And uh, over the next week or so, I'll be making some very exciting announcements about cast uh, and timing and that sort of thing. Uh, so that's next for me. Um, so I'll be pretty busy over the next few months. Yeah, very exciting. Wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah. Now, for all those people out there thinking that Craig might be in Tuscany, because we thought he was with a background like that, uh, no, this is his own backyard in Perth. Is that right? This is my backyard uh, in Perth. You know, I'm, I am I am hiding a, a dodgy air conditioning unit and some uh, uh, you know some some bad landscaping, but uh, try to try to focus on the on the greenery and the and the rustic door. Well, it's beautiful. Well, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and how is that with all of yours going? She's amazing. Uh, Matilda just turned one. Um, she had her very first visit to the Royal Show yesterday and uh, she had an absolute ball. She was uh, licked on the face by a cow. Uh, she got to hold a balloon, uh, had plenty of ice cream. So she's uh, she's a very lucky girl. She's uh, She's very happy in life at the moment. Oh, that's, that's, wonderful. Right. that's wonderful. All right, we're going to let you go. Um, and as I said, uh, Craig will be jumping on later on. Um, if you have any questions mm. for him, I'm sure he's happy to take them and respond via comments. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Really appreciate it. All right. So, yes, back to us. Oh, yes, the winners, the top 50 kids' books. And these are the winners. Now, all of you would have been notified. Um, is that right? Via email. Mm. Um, and these are the winners. We're going to put them up on screen right now. Uh, Greg from New South Wales, Leslie from Queensland, Kialani Ke from South Australia, Jason from Northern Territory, Selena from Western Australia, Elliot from Tasmania, and Jenny from Victoria. Congratulations. Everyone's been contacted um, via email. You very lucky people. Now, let me tell you this. If you're tuning in, you don't get them all at once. You get them from various publishers mm. and they come scattered. Uh, and it can take four to six weeks depending on what books are in stock and when the publisher sends them out. Are okay. any of our winners here? Let us know. Yeah, let us know clients. if you're a winner. Yeah. Now, hello, everybody. Um, we're going to move on to our usual chatty uh, segment. What are you reading? For those mm. that missed the eye story, I've got a, a red eye. It's not sore. I actually pinched it while I was taking out my um, contact. Mary says hello. Sharon says hello. Leslie says hello. Yvonne says hi to us as well. Emma says hello. Emily, currently reading How to Raise Girls Who Like Themselves. 
fantastic so far. What a great title too. Mm. Uh, Sue says, congratulations to Craig. He will jump on and respond. Hi, mm. Carolyn. Um, Carolyn is reading Scary Monsters by Michelle de Kretzer for Book Club. It was shortlisted last year for the Miles Franklin. Mm. I know Michelle. She's a really beautiful writer. She actually lives in the inner west mm. um, and she's always rescuing dogs oh she's one of mine yeah she's one of yours yeah. okay lynn is reading none of this is true by lisa jewell and is loving it uh sharon says congratulations mm. to craig for those that are just tuning in top 50 kids number one craig sylvie mm. uh, christine says hi to us julietta hello our hello. resident author Looking good. I'm reading Stanley Tucci's Taste and loving it. I've mm. read that. It's great. And I really, I follow him on Instagram as well and I love his little segments. Yeah. And he's got a TV series I did well. audio with that one. Oh, did wonderful. you? Yeah. Did you learn anything about cooking from it, Jane? <laughs> no. No. No, okay. I'm surprised you even read it. Christine, mm. congratulations, Craig. Sandra says congratulations to Craig and hi to us. Kaz is reading Four Dogs Missing by Rice Guard. Lynn says congratulations. Julia says, oh, congratulations mm. to Craig. Well deserved. Um, and, you know, from a fellow writer, mm. you know what goes into it, Julieta. And I, um, I, I, I know the secret. I know what you were reading last week. Um, so there you go. Mm. Carolyn loved reading Runt. It is a beautiful book. It is And there beautiful. she is. And Carolyn's not seven. Mm. Right. <laughs> Leslie says congratulations to Craig. Um, Emma says the same. Mary, at my work, I put Honey Bee on a bookshelf to share and I keep seeing people taking it to read. A fabulous read. That's, That's what, isn't that wonderful? Mm. Yeah. Isn't it great sharing books as well? Mm. Being in an office and take, I mean, you know, look at us. Yeah. But yeah. even um, if you're in an office where some people may read and some people may not, it's really enticing if somebody mm, has a stack. have a little pile of books yes. somewhere. That's Absolutely. Right. Um, Christine says congratulations to all the finalists at Absolutely. Mm. Uh, Jilly's reading and loving The French Gift mm. by Kirsty Manning. That's been loved by quite a few people. Really, yes. It? Yeah. Yeah. Susan says hi to us and he's reading The Caretaker by Gabriel uh, uh, Bergamoser. Bergmoser, such a good mm. read and easy to read. We read, read him, didn't we? He, he and he writes YA as well as adult mm. thrillers. Mm. Yeah. Came sure. into the office and was in it a bit. Oh, and we're going to talk about some yes. books. Yes, speaking of thrillers, um, J.G. Robb, Payback in Death, is out. And, of course, this is Nora Roberts, 250 books later. She's a master of, like, plotting uh, she is a masterclass in writing, actually, this woman, but she writes her crime under J.D. Robb and this is book number 57 in the Eve Dallas series. So I know there's, I don't have to sell it to you because there's so many people out there who read it. Can yeah. I Can I just say that mm. these people are coming in tonight? Dave Warner, we're going to put up the books? Yes. Oh, there they are, those yeah, three people. The latest books. So Karen Herbert's coming in. Dave Wish Wilson's mm -hmm. coming in and Dave Warner. Yes. So it's not too late. If you want to come, we're in Camperdown, Better Reading Office, 7.15 for 7.30. Mm. Um, just email us if you want to come. But either way, that event is on tonight. Yes. We're streaming live from 7.30 if you can't make it. Um, so we will see you then. Pour and yourself a wine and, uh, yes. you know, watch uh, Cheryl talk to these, moderate a panel with these great three yeah. writers. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Mm. Okay, um, uh, uh, Teresa's reading, um, oh, Teresa said, I hope your eye isn't too sore. Yeah, it's not mm. sore at all. Just for those that have just tuned in, I just pinched the wide of it as I was taking my contact out. Um, Teresa's currently reading Wild Lavender by Belinda Alexander. Yeah. We love Belinda. Uh, Julie says hi to us and she's reading The Lie Maker by Linwood Barclay. He's a nice, he's yeah. a nice man too. He's been yeah. in the office. Yeah. He has indeed. Mm. Okay, what have you got? Oh, well, I'll just lift it. I've got to go to my <gasps> chiropractor later. <laughs> the Running Grave. Okay, book seven, Robert Galbraith in um, The Strike series uh and i read 100 pages last night so i'm well into it and uh, i also had a sneak peek at the last 50 pages <laughs> just so i knew what was happening uh with our protagonists um i mean look at this she keeps churning them out of course anyone who doesn't know Robert Galbraith is J.K. Rowling. She likes to write big books. Uh, she does it in this series as well. But it's really, it's a great, great. series. They're it really, really great. is. And it's got just so much, like, 
I love the characters so much. The characters, you know, it's so much about them and that's why it's um, so And, you know, there's also a TV series, which I'm quite Mm. hooked to as well, which I think they've done a fabulous job in making it a TV series as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Um, Yvonne is reading No Country for Girls by Emma Stiles. Wendy says hello to both of us. Natasha, Runt is such a warm hug of a novel. That's what you said, didn't you? I loved it. That's Mm. exactly right, Natasha. Mm. Um, and lovely to see your um, yes um, little sticker there. Uh, Sue Kramer is reading The French Gift by uh, Kirsty Manning. Mm. That's the second time that's been talked mm. about today. Mary well. currently reading The Willow Tree Wharf by oh. Leonie uh, Kelsall. Uh, loving it. Annette, finish reading The Naturalist of Amsterdam by Melissa Ashley. Oh, wonderful. Uh, we've got that yes. here, haven't we? And just started Across the Wall by Garth Nix. Sandra, love both of those books by Craig, as well as Jasper Jones and Rhubarb. Well, that's the whole collection, isn't it? Wow. Thank you. A movie of Runt will be taking yeah. my grand, uh, my grandies. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Uh, there it is, the Melissa new Melissa Ashley book. Oh, mm. it's not so new, isn't it? That's her that, second one, no. I think. So she's got a new book. She from, has got a new book. Um, out this month. Yeah. October. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. wonderful. Mm. Uh, Susan says, Craig's like the boy next door. We love your work. Mm. Oh, how lovely. Christine says, that is fantastic. Runt being made into a mm. movie. Um, Carolyn says, congratulations to all the winners. How lovely and exciting. Mm. What else have you got? Well, and we've got, you know, big writers yeah. today who just like churn out fantastic stories. And the next one is Judy Nunn. Black we love Sheep. Judy Nunn. Yeah, you know? we just, do. I mean, let's have a look at this. Yeah, this yeah. isn't even all of her. Yeah, books, yeah. Look at if you want to have a look at a stack, that's mm. a stack, right? Mm. And that's not yeah. all. You're right. Yeah. And this is the new one by mm. Judy Nunn. It's called Black Sheep. Um, and, uh, you know, it's set between Goulburn and London. Um, she's really. Just such a beautiful writer, and particularly in terms of the Australian landscape, she does great Australian yeah. historicals. Yeah, yeah. and then she and she might be coming to a town near you because you've said this before. No author works like Judy. Oh Martin. no, she goes out to yeah. the libraries everywhere. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Julie says, congratulations to Craig. Very worthy winner. We agree. Mm. Sandra just bought Darling Girls by Sally Hepworth and Dying to Know by Ray Carnes. Uh, not sure which to start next. Mm. Well, I think, you know, either one. Either you, one. Yeah, you're on a good run. Okay, Leslie, I'm reading The Last Devil to Die. Sharon, I'm reading uh, The Things That Matter Most by Gabby Stroud. Mm. Uh, Julie, currently reading The Other Side of Her by B.M. Carroll. Um, Lisa, reading The Guest Cat by Tash... Takashi Harad, is that how you say that? Haradi. Uh, Natasha, mm. halfway through Wifedom by Anna Funda mm. about George Orwell's forgotten wife, mm. Eileen. Do you know, I recorded a podcast with Anna um, talking about Wifedom. If you haven't listened to it, mm. it was such a great podcast, wasn't mm. it? Please download it. She talks about how the ID came to her. Um, and how her, I mean, she's married with children and how she was at a shopping centre just down the road from here and she was pushing the trolley of groceries and thought, why am I doing this? That made her go home and read George Orwell for some reason, Mm. but that's Anna Funda. And then she discovered George's wife Mm. and that's how this book came about. Part non-fiction, part fiction, part narrative, hard to explain, but a book you can't put down. So thanks, Natasha. I'm just going to have a sip oh, of my coffee. Yes. Now, <laughs> this is it the is first time. It is, yeah. it is your coffee. Um, I was. We were talking about the mugs. Mm. Do you want to hold that back up again? Mm. And the white teas, the white V-neck tea. We, I was saying that I'm using my mug in the morning um, because I do a pour-over coffee every mm. single morning. I grind mm. my coffee. I do a little pour-over. Same. Yep, do that. Um, and that mug is perfect for that. And it I'm really, really enjoying I'm it. I'm a little bit of a coffee snob. Like I like my coffee to be a bit stronger and I like it. And I've only got two mugs that I use in the morning and this one has replaced them. Mm. It's a good size for a coffee. Right. Mm. There you go. That's yeah. the mug. Yeah. This is, now listen, we've got um, we've got so many T-shirts. I'm actually wearing the black V, which I love. Yeah. I love that and I love the grey V as well. Um, but the grey V is no longer available. Um, but the white V is, and for a while we've got 30% off all white V T-shirts. Mm. So if you want one, 30% off, jump online now. It's my um, favourite actually, the white V. You wear the oh, white okay. V a lot, don't yeah, you? with a blazer. Yes. Um, and uh, jump on and um, and get yourself one and Dex is going to put the link on, right? 
Okay, um, what have we got? Um, uh, Natasha, I've just read. Highlight is just finished Southern Aurora by Mark Brandy. He was the other guy I was thinking about that was at the Melbourne dinner. Yes. Wasn't he? He yeah. was at the Melbourne yeah. dinner. Fabulous writing as usual. Mm. Uh, Christine is currently reading Shelley Burr's Ripper. What a gripping mystery. Um, loving well. it. Natasha, Sandra Scully, I love dying to know. Great mate. She's responding to Sandra. Wendy, I'm present, presently listening to Meant to Be Be by Fiona McCallum. Mm. Um, and Snapshots from Home by Sasha Worsley, both uh, enjoying both. Gail, just about to start the disappearance of Astrid Brickard, mm. Natasha Lester, author of the book launch in Melbourne. Um, Leanne, currently reading Three Sisters by Heather Morris and loving it. She was in the mm. office the other day. I finished The Tattooist from our switch earlier in the year before visiting Dachau. Uh, Dachau on the overseas trip. Very grateful for Heather's work, absolutely. Julie, if we want to... To Zoom, uh, do we just come to Facebook? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. absolutely. That's what we mm. meant. Uh, Kathy currently reading All the Broken Places by John Boyne, the sequel to The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Malvina just read Wake by Shelley Burr, a fabulous Aussie debut. What do you okay, got? Okay, well, you had a chat with Kelly Rimmer. The I did. is out now. And Kelly Rimmer has a shop. Mm. She yes. bought a bookstore. Yeah, in Orange. In Orange, mm. right. So if you're in Orange... Um, don't forget to pop into um, Kelly's shop. Melissa says hi to us and is reading the Paris Library um, and enjoying it. Tracy listening to Homecoming by Kate Morton. Um, and Vicky just picked up Seven the Sun by Sebastian Falks. Um, Mai just finished Prophet Song by Paul Lynch and started The Hummingbird Effect by Kate uh, Mindelhall. Uh, Zarina um, uh, just finished Something Bad is Going to Happen by Jessie Stevens and started The Mother Fault by Kate, of course. Um, what else have we got? Christine. Oh, I'm drinking my strong coffee with my new oh. wonderful Better Reading mug. Hold that up. Thank you, Christine. Yeah. Um, Sue, I was lucky enough to win a merch pack. I love my white tea and my cup. The tea shirt is so comfy. It really is comfy mm. and it's very, very nice quality. And we made a point of that, didn't we, mm. to get something that was nice quality. Do you know, we're, we're talking a lot, aren't we, today? Um, anyway, uh, Craig's jumped on. He's in the comments, so you'll be hearing from him. Is right. there anything we need to talk about? Oh, Lee Sales. Mm. We're going to put the book up. I like. She came in the other day, wasn't she? Absolutely terrific. Lovely, lovely, total lovely. Pro. Total pro. She's got this book out, um, and it's called Storytellers, where she's in, interviewing other journalists. Mm. We had the most fantastic conversations. Um, it was one of my favourite. You know, I don't. I very rarely do this. I very rarely go back and re-listen to the podcast because mm. I was there when the podcast was recording mm. and I was in the conversation. But do you know, with Lisa, I went back because I just found her so interesting. Mm. So that's Lee Sales who did the 7.30 report and is now doing Australian Story. Mm. Okay. Yes. Now, um, of course, we have uh, another When Love Comes to Town. And the <gasps> we next one do. Is more. So that's very exciting. Link there. If you're in the Northern Rivers, come along to the Sherwood Hotel on October 26th. It's my old stomping ground, the Northern Rivers. It's where I grew up. So my mum's going to be there with a busload of ladies. So if yeah. you want to meet Jane, if you want to meet Jane's mum or in, and if you want to meet me, yeah. we will all be there. What's yes. the date? 26th of October, October. at 7pm. The link is there. There's more information you can go through. You, it's a free event but you must book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, is there anything else we have to do that we haven't done? I think that might be it. I think we're out of time. Yes. yes. Um. But tonight. Oh, tonight. Tune yes. back in. Tune back in tonight. So we're going to be, if you can't get here physically, that's fine. Mm. Tonight, 7.30, Facebook Live, we will be talking, do you want to put those authors up again? David Dave Wish, yeah. Wish Wilson, Dave Warner and Karen Herbert tonight in the office. Mm live 7 30 okay so we'll see you via facebook tonight okay thank you Excited. everybody congratulations to the top 50 kids winners yes congratulations to all the authors that made the list congratulations to craig sylvie thank you to all of you at home we yeah. love your company we love this segment um and that's it until next week